actually pretty cool. We are on a higher elevation now, it seems, so... I don't know, maybe there's... There's pockets of civilization here. I just want to see how shallow it was. Interesting plant life in here. It's like everything just feels they're like little like mini oases on the rock face. There's boxes floating around right now. Are we getting close to like some kind of a village or something like that?
I'm glad it's nighttime. I can actually see the wind. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to do it on a on a brighter background. Oh crap! Oh oh oh! What the? Stop! That's a big boy ladder. Oh, what is this? Is this fuel? Yeah. What was that? Oh, do I need to bring that fuel? <laughs> I'm sorry. I need to bring you. You want something? Oh, gosh. Come on. Place it. There you go. Is that enough? Hey! It's like a stork or something. You need more power? <laughs> okay. Ow. The box hit me in the head. Alright, we're maxed out. Oh, don't crush me. <laughs> oh, is that the balloon? Okay. Oh, sending out like a signal. Oh, it's a lighthouse. Wait! That was the smoke signal that I used for... In the first game. Yeah! And then... I tooted the horn! Wow, okay. A familiar sound, says the achievement. No friggin' way. What am I doing? Is that the ladder? Is that a ladder? It's not a ladder. I'm gonna die. Okay. Wow. So wait, are we rescuing? Okay, I'm just gonna... We're going the other way now. Oh gosh. I'm okay, right? <laughs> Wait, this is weird. Why are you doing this on the other side? I'm not used to going right to left. You, you're making everything go backwards and it feels weird. It feels so weird. Now, now the sail is in my face. Wow. I mean, I'd say that's cool, though. So are we related? I, I, I feel like I need to... Was there, like, a picture of, like, the, the character in the first game? Like, of this character that we're playing as now? Man, that whole journey just to bring us back to, uh... The end moment in the first game. That's... that's crazy. Hey, what's happening? Why is my... why is the wind not going? Come on, wind. Where do you want to go? We 
we go. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe it connected like that. I wasn't sure... I didn't know it was like, kind of on the parallel timelines. Gosh, are we almost there? <laughs> I'm glad it didn't end on the horn sound, honestly. We're saving. That means we're close. crap there we are there's the first ship this thing is huge i can't believe that wow oh my gosh that is so awesome that is so cool arrival i don't know where we're going where are their hair brothers they're kind of the same except the one's red and stuff It all led up to that. Isn't this the ending music from the first game too? Far changing tides. Wow. Great music. Thank you for playing. You're welcome. Thanks for making the game. Oh, cool. They have a. Uh, they got concept art about what's going on afterwards. That's awesome. It's climbing onto the ship. Okamotive. I wonder what you all are going to be making next because these first two games are. have been pretty amazing like the second one at least on first play i don't think it was as good as the first one because the first one um obviously i was experiencing that for the first time so the second time i was a bit more familiar with kind of like how to play the game but the submarine parts were really cool i liked the sailing even though i couldn't <laughs> like maintain the sail uh, as much as I wanted to because the wind always kept changing and but that was like like a cool little Oh, they're fi are they fixing the ship? Oh, that's cool Yeah, it was a cool little um Like micromanaging like portion of it. I thought that was I thought that was I thought that was really cool um, with the submarine. I really liked having to um, Gain buoyancy and you know, just like Go beneath the waves in the submarine and I thought doing that was like really awesome uh, standout moment especially for being in the submarine was the jellyfish 
that was amazing and also seeing the the whale um yeah so it's it's still like a little familiar and i think at, at the same time the game it was kind of like playing it safe um because I, I really felt like it was more of an extension oh they got the oh they put it on the boat that's awesome yeah i feel like it was more of an extension of the first game um but it was really cool seeing the end that because that horn was like pretty much like the last thing you heard in the first game and seeing this unfold because i didn't know exactly what was going on with uh with this character and what they were doing but i guess they were just on a rescue mission maybe to find family i guess maybe he had to run some errands along the way before uh before heading over but it, it was a nice connection especially if you played the first game and i always kind of like wondered like what happened like afterwards so and it's and it's cool at least going through the credits right now that you can see um what, what's going on hopefully they can find some more people if there's ever a third game in this series like i said earlier hopefully i mean we've gone underwater we've gone on land and i mean the last thing to do is air And that kind of makes sense, especially with with the way the world is, with the earthquakes, the natural disasters and everything. Like, being up in the air is probably one of the best things to, to like, be on, especially as you explore the desolate landscapes and everything, see if you can find a place to call home. I mean, I, I, at least I, I hope that's what they're what the people there are doing because <laughs> for all we know these are the last two people in this world so it's awesome that they found each other and you know their journey through life won't be so won't be so lonely so developers you've done an amazing job with both of these games uh, like I said before, I felt like this play, This one was playing a little bit safe, even though there was like some awesome environmental moments. Like in this one, I think a little bit more awe-inspiring than the first one. But because the first one, you know, I never experienced it, it's still... I still think about that more than, than here. Um, if there's any kind of like flaws, I guess, there's, I guess there's a little bit more micromanaging in this one. Which I was still like okay with. Because at a certain point, when you were playing the first one, it was things felt a little more automated, especially with picking up the fuel. Because you get like a vacuum, and then it just picks it up, and then uh, as you go on land. This one I had to get out like every single time to to pick it up or use the the winch. Um, that kind of like slowed things down a little bit, I think, but. It was it was it was still cool like swimming around and like exploring and everything, um, and it makes me wonder if I actually missed anything <laughs> like underwater any like scenes I could have I could have seen like if I didn't go down underwater that one time I didn't know if, if I would have seen the whale you know um, but it was cool that when the jellyfish came and you saw them like glowing from the surface of of the water i was like you know what i'm just gonna swim down there and it was so cool that that's definitely the highlight of the game for me so anyway uh those are my thoughts for far changing tides thank you for watching i don't know which part this is but i know the parts have been pretty long um i just wanted to i just want to do it all kind of like in like a few sessions so, thanks for taking the journey with me. And if you all made it this far, thanks for watching. And as always, take care and take a G30 out. All right, Charles. Come on, everybody. And please, keep smiling. I will see you all in the next game.